Hey guys, it's Ashley with Eclectic Broom Closet Witch, and this is my third try at this video. Um, okay, so I'm going to be really quick about it, um, because there's other videos that I want to upload as well. Well, I have to refilm them and then upload them, but I'm just going to show you really fast. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other video, or at least showed you. Oh, that's, that's extra, sorry. Um, the glitter outline I wanted to do on some of my pages. Well, I did one, and I just want to show you. So it's kind of like a shadows update, but, I mean, not really. It's just me showing you so you get an idea. And maybe if you wanted to use it as your own in your book, um, then you could. So this is the spine of my book. See? Well, it's falling apart. I haven't glued them yet, but that's what I'm going to glue on the spine. Okay, so let's just get into this so I can make it as quick as possible. So I'm not sitting here for 10 minutes. So if you can see, this is the ribbon. You can kind of see it from the outside. See how it kind of sticks out a little bit more? Um, that is what I was talking about um, with the ribbon. That way I can know, you know, if I have different colors and I can associate them with different title pages and sections within my book, I can just flip through it. I know I love my little bangles. They are pretty and all, but ideally my book is huge. I mean, look at it. It's, it's, I mean, you know, it's, it's huge. So, Honestly, I'm not going to have enough markers to even use if I wanted to. So, what I did was, it is the prettiest page, and I'm not done with this title page, so there are a few things that still need to be col colored in, but it is so pretty, guys. I love it. I love it. Look at it. I love it. I got a candle over here and a broom down here that I have to color. Um, woo, I got stuff falling out. My book's too big. I need like a pedestal for my book. And this is the back page. But I mean, how pretty is this? I mean, obviously for males, unless you like glitter and ribbon, you're really not going to be interested in this. But maybe you can find some other things. Um, even scrapbook paper, maybe with like a design. I don't. I don't know. I mean, you can get creative and you can use whatever. But this is, I just, it's by far the favorite. And since it's done with Halloween, I'm hoping that I could go maybe to Dollar Tree and see if I can find any more of this pretty ribbon. And get a close up. Look at that. Because I know with it being um, November now, it is November third today. Um, this will be uploaded tonight. Um, I I know that everything's like 50% off and stuff like that. So I'm hoping by the time I get to Dollar Tree, I can find some more sparkly ribbons because I just absolutely love it. If not, they have a lot of pretty satin finish ones and other things um, as well. So just to show you one more time, isn't that so pretty? And you can kind of see... I don't, I don't know how to position this book for you to, there we go. See it? See how it sticks out? It's almost, it's almost level with my back piece and my, my front piece. If it was, there we go. That's better. There we go. So you can see, I mean, that's pretty obvious. And like I said, just color associating with the ribbon and the sections. Um, I know Dollar Tree also has ribbon like this that was Halloween based that have like pumpkins and um, spiders I think and I think that would be great for my Samhain section um, I, I think it would be awesome and that way I can just go straight to it and kind of associate it and I know that they I think they do ones for Christmas as well or Yule um, but that way to kind of like maybe associate it a little bit easier, especially if you have a big book like me, or you just want to add some more character and personalization to your book. I think it's an awesome idea to do, and I've not seen it before, so I definitely wanted to show you, um, and it might not work for everybody, but for me it's really going to work, um, because like I said, my book is massive, and as much as I love my little unique 
book markers and as pretty as they are and I'll keep them in here just for more detail to my book but honestly I'm not going to use them as much I don't hardly use them um, sometimes I do but it's very rare so honestly it's yeah yeah so I will see you again in the next video because I'm about to shoot another one when I recorded this the first time I started talking about some other stuff and the video wasn't as short as I would have hoped. Like right now, it probably should have only been like a two minute video and I'm at almost six minutes, so I'm about to go. But I will sh I'm will about to show you, or not show you, but give you some tips on some cheap witchy tools for your sacred space or just, just whatever. So stay tuned because I'm about to record it and post it along with this video. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh my gosh, I dropped the phone. Sorry. I will see you again in a minute. Bye.